Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. And today we have a snow globe that I've been wanting to work on for a long time. This is one that we found at the thrift store months ago. We uh, showed it in one of our new snow globe videos, but this is a 1953 Corvette in a snow globe, which I thought was amazing. I thought, hey, I wonder if there's any, any uh, snow globes out there with uh, muscle cars in them. And then about two weeks later, I find this and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So uh, really nice snow globe. It's an excellent shape. Uh, it's got a, obviously it has a 1953 Corvette. It's cool. Uh -huh, it says 1953 Corvette on the. I don't know what year this is from. There's no information down here other than it's made by Westland. It's got an item number. Uh, I have to look it up and see, but uh, I don't think this is from 1953. But <laughs> that is a 1953 right. in there. So uh, the everything seems to be the uh, the car actually turns in there. That's cool. Yeah, so it spins on that uh, turntable there. The music box is working. Uh, the water's all murky and it has a big air bubble. So we're just gonna open this up, do a water change on it and hopefully get it back together and it'll still work when we're done. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> stick around, let's see if, uh, let's see what I can do with this. Do it. All right. All right, so as usual, we're gonna start by taking a look at this cover here and seeing how easy it's gonna be to remove. Right. Because we need access to the globe. All right, so I'm gonna start. I like this one is gonna be. This one's gonna be a problem, huh? Yeah. There's not much space here to, to, to get a screwdriver in there. Ooh. <gasps> well. <laughs> Zappy gap. I think I can get it off now. Oh no, babe. Yeah, little piece split off of there. Shoot, uh, that's all right. I can, uh, no, wait, wait, look, see? Zappy I can, gap. I can fix that, you'll never know. Uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, some heat on this. Looks like this is uh, pretty well uh, uh, glued on here. So uh, go ahead and get the hair dryer and we'll heat this up. Okay. 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 This was this was glued on. This cover was glued on there pretty well. So uh, unfortunately, like I said. Uh, it cracked the base, but uh, it cracked it pretty clean. So I'm gonna fix it and you'll never know it happened right there. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. So um, so we have a little mechanism here that uh, connects to the top of the, the top of the uh, music box here. This little piece that turns right there. It's attached to the uh, uh, to the mechanism that turns the, the the drum here. That attaches to this piece right here, which turns the. So, uh, pretty simple. Uh, no glue sealing this globe whatsoever. Hmm. So, Allie, if you could hold this, let's yeah. go ahead and see if we can get the stopper out of there. Mm -hmm. Well, I know we can get it out of there. I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can get out of there in one piece. Right. Right. Okay, so now that I know this uh, base is kind of delicate here. Yeah. Go ahead and just go around here carefully. Okay, there we go. I think I got it this time. All right, there it is. All right. One Corvette. It looks a lot smaller outside it of the globe. It does. But yeah, everything looked good here. Uh, it's got a bunch of glitter and stuff stuck to it, so I'm going to take a uh, a soft brush and just brush this off and rinse it off in some plain water. Uh, everything looks good here. Mm -hmm. And then, then we're, we're gonna, gonna rinse this we're out. Gonna, we're gonna pour this water yeah. out and just rinse this out. We're gonna get rid of that uh, glitter that's in there because we've already picked. We have. Uh, these two glitters, uh, blue, dark blue and silver to go with the- uh, Base. The base of the, uh, the silver and the blue of the base. So uh, we'll see how that works out. So let's go ahead and get this all cleaned up and then we'll uh, be right back. All right, so everything's cleaned up. Uh, the uh, globe had some residue on the glass and I used uh, some uh, dish soap and this uh, handle sponge and I just kind of went into the globe and just cleaned it up and it came out nice and clean, no problem there. Looks nice and clear now. Yes, it looks much clearer. Some, sometimes that uh, when the water gets murky, a yellow or brown, it'll leave a residue on the glass and uh, if you don't clean it off, it won't look right. 
Uh, same thing with the uh, figurine here, the Corvette. I took a, a soft bristle brush here and some uh, dish soap and cleaned it up. A uh, very soft brush just, uh, you know, just to get any uh, stuff that's maybe stuck to it. But uh, it came out nice and clean. And yeah. I, yeah, I like the uh, the look of that, the car on the checkered, the black and white checkered floor yeah, there. Yeah, but, it looks uh, cool. Looks cool. So uh, everything's ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill this with water. Oh, by the way, almost forgot. Uh, you noticed earlier when we were taking the cover off that the uh, base got chipped. Uh, the, the cover was on there so tight. Uh, there was no room really to get a, a tool in there to get it off and they used a lot of glue and that happens sometimes there's really no other way to get it off of there but uh we did fix it uh with some super glue and right there and uh i can tell because i know where it is but uh you probably wouldn't be able to tell if you didn't know so yeah. it, it, uh, it's fine yeah all right so we're gonna go ahead and put some water in this uh, can you hand me the water Ellie? yes okay this looks like a four inch globe this will take about two cups of water all right, and this water is uh, filtered water that has uh, a little alcohol in it to uh, inhibit any the growth of any organisms. So we're going to go ahead and fill this maybe to like an inch from the top or so, uh, right about there. Okay, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and add the, the glue. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, about two tablespoons of clear Elmer's glue. And if you haven't seen our previous videos, uh, we'll leave a link to the uh, uh, comparison video where we show the different things you can put in the water. Uh, we use glue, uh, it works best for us. And uh, about we use about one tablespoon per cup of water. This is two cups of water, so we're gonna put about two tablespoons in there. And this is to slow down the snow and the, uh, and the uh, glitter, so it's, it, it falls slower. And the last time we used uh, more, um, I liked it. Um, but this is um, more of your snow globe, so if you want to use more, that's up to you. Uh, I'm going to start out with, that, that was about two tablespoons of, of clear glue. Uh, and like I said, the other things you can use are uh, glycerin or baby oil or just plain water. Plain water works as well, but we like to mm -hmm. slow it down. Now, if you notice here, Ali's stirring this up. Uh, when you first put the glue in there and stir it, the water's going to get cloudy. But then as you stir and as the glue dissolves, it clears up. So that looks pretty clear. All right, so now we're gonna add the uh, glitter. And I recommend, um, so we're gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of each color. Okay. And I would uh, recommend no more than, no, to use no more than two of these because honestly, too much glitter just makes it look very cloudy and dirty. It can be too. Okay, so we're gonna start with the blue. I'll start with the blue. I do my best not to. Kind of a dark blue, that's good. Yeah, but wait, no, in other words. Actually, this is, is this the, no, we usually use Go ahead, the, quarter teaspoon. Put, okay. a quarter, put a quarter teaspoon in, let's see how it looks. This is not the amount we normally that's use. That's okay, I just, let, let, let's, I just, let's, let's do it. Yeah, I just let's realized this is the, the wrong right. um, size. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I can't Let reach, I'm sorry, it's just it's a tiny thingy. Um, let's get the silver now. I'm sorry guys, I usually use an eighth of each color. Well, this is a quarter teaspoon, which is fine. But, I just uh, realized it was the wrong size. You know what? That looks good. Let's, let's use about half as much of the silver. Of the silver, yep. About half as much of the silver, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon instead of a quarter, just to mix in with their blue. There we go. Now let's see how that looks. Let's try that. It, it's a lot easier to add, folks. Yes. <laughs> and I just noticed the... Uh, yes. The base is loose from the globe. Oh no! I didn't notice that. Before. And no, I just noticed it's not even it's not even attached. So we no, got there's like no. We got to glue the globe uh -huh. to the base now as well. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, silver and blue. I like that. That looks good. I wouldn't add anything more to no, that. No, it's 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 mostly blue with a little bit of silver mm -hmm. here and there. Okay, good. All right, so hold on to that. I got you. Okay, and it doesn't matter which way this goes in because no. it turns. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water on the stopper here. To facilitate the installation. Okay, so we're going to drop this in here and we're going to go around, pushing it down till it's even with the stopper. I mean, even with the uh, edge of the globe. Stopper appears to be even with the globe. Okay, let's take a look. Oh! <laughs> It came right out of the came right out of the base. There well we go. Then. All right. Well then, 
That makes things a little bit easier then. Because now I can see what I'm doing here. Let me, uh, you know what? Yep, we'll just leave this alone now. You know what? We're gonna we're just gonna yeah. leave that base alone now that it fell off. It's it, it was glued too. It's it's crazy. Okay, just kind of all right, fine. Okay. So what we'll do here is uh, it'll this will make it easier to get that air bubble out. So go ahead yeah. and uh, hold on to that. Gotcha. And just real quick, this is what I usually use. I usually use uh, eighth this, of a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. But I use it twice because I use two different colors. I should have been paying close attention, but hey, he hey. likes it. That's all that matters to me. I went with an eighth of a tea, I mean, a quarter of a teaspoon. And that's, uh, hey, as long work, as he likes it, folks. It works for me. And, and again, it's personal preference, too. If you like more or less, more mm -hmm. or less, it's all up to you. It's personal preference at this point. That's okay. the amount I like. So, uh, so now we're going to get that air bubble out. Yeah. And you can do this with the globe inside the base. I mean, I wouldn't it's have... It's generally what we do. I, I don't go through the trouble of removing the globe from the base if, unless I have to. But, uh, you know, you can do it with the globe in the base. But in this case, being that it's out of the base, it's even easier. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back on the stopper a little bit here. Get a space here for the syringe. And uh, episode uh, three... Uh, we have all the different uh, tools and materials that we use. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the uh, description. For a really cool toolkit yes, information. Yes, exactly. Basically everything we use. Right. Wow, a lot of foam came out. A lot of foam. What is that from? Too much drinking. <laughs> okay, we're going to need some more water. Let all those bubbles consolidate. Mm hmm. Okay, pull this back and get it in there again. Don't say it. I, you know what? I'm going to pull this up a little bit. I think it's too yeah. too far in there. I was, I was going to ask you when you were done, if because it, it, to me it looked like it was pushed in a little bit. Yeah, no, it needs to come out a little bit. It, it went in too far. Okay. It's a little crooked. I'll fix it here in okay. a second. Well, at least the um, foams, the foam settled down. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a giant air bubble, which is easier to deal with than a bunch of foam. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. No more foam. Oh, it's in the syringe. That's the problem. Oh. Okay, tilt it up. Tilt it up. Okay, we'll have to let that settle for a little bit. There's a... Uh, there's little tiny air bubbles in here. We're going to let that settle mm -hmm. until it turns into one big air bubble and then we can get it all at one time. So we'll be back. Yep. All right, that bubble's going to be as, as okay. I think it's as small as it's going to get. Are we going to hold it? Take yes, it off the base? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. For that mm -hmm. so we don't, I don't, I have a feeling I'll break something if I don't. Okay. okay. We should get it this time. All right. All right here we go. Oh, lost my grip on the uh, on the stopper. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. All right. We got it this time. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. All right. No air bubble. No air bubble. No air bubble, and it. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Looks good. What do you think? Do you like your I like glitter it. choice? I like, yeah, I like it. Okay. I like it. So, uh, okay, and it looks like it's level, but maybe not. Looks like it's. Up it's a, it's a on little that bit. One. It in. It's in there, and yeah. yeah. Let me just adjust yep. this. See. Yep. Another bubble got introduced into it. Here we go. Sucker. Here we go. Hold on. I got it. I got it. See? All right. So as I'm forcing the stopper down, it's forcing the bubble out. Okay. And I think there I got go. I think I got it even that time. Yeah, that looks even. I'm okay. looking at the bottom rim and that looks even. All right. Okay. So now, uh, paper towel. Paper towel. Put this up. We'll put this up and we'll put this up. Okay. Paper towel. So what we're going to do now, we are going to dry the globe. Yep. Okay. Get the 
globe nice and dry. And then we're going to place it into the base. Okay. And it doesn't matter which way it goes because there's no orientation to it, it spins. Okay. It's a nice thing about um, certain globes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Looks so, good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we get our hot glue gun. Yep. And we need to put enough glue uh, to fill this space in between the globe and the base and the stopper and the globe all the way across to attach the globe to the base and seal the globe so the water doesn't leak out. And you just want to keep in mind that when you're doing that, he knows that he has to keep it away from that to keep the spinner moving. Right, don't get any glue. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to get any glue on this thing. I'm going to be kind of conservative with it. Right. All right, so, Allie, if you could yes. hold... Oh, wait a second. We got some water in here. We oh, got to dry right? up. Yeah, you got to dry some water. We're, head, we're just going right force We in are ahead of ourselves. We, we have to get this uh, excess water out of here. Excess mesh mesh. There we go. Okay. So, Allie, if you could hold that. Got it. I will start to glue. Okay, I might need another glue stick here. Let me get that ready. Okay, yeah, if you could just hold it just like that. Okay, and then I will start the process right here. And what I'll do is I'll put the glue primarily between between the base, yeah, between the base and the uh, globe, and then just let it overflow onto the uh, onto the stopper and the globe opening there. So that'll and that'll minimize the chance of any glue getting on the uh, on the mechanism there. And you see that bubbling up, guys? That just means there's a little bit of water or moisture. Yeah, um, if that bubble continues, we'll just have to pop them and right. uh, that way you won't get a, don't develop a leak. Yeah, so. And I know out there people are saying, oh my God, they're using a lot of glue. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are using a lot but of glue. You, it's but this it, is, guys, uh, I me. think this is gonna be the last yeah. time we ever open this thing yeah, up. You, you really don't wanna have to um, open it up. Mud wants you Okay, to. we're gonna let this glue cool. Looks like we've got the entire thing sealed uh, all the way from the base into the stopper didn't get any on the mechanism we're gonna let that cool we're gonna come back and check it and uh put the cover on and then uh, we'll take a look at it all right so we'll be back okay the uh, glue is all dry everything's sealed up no leaks everything looks good so now we're gonna put the cover back on so ali if you could hold that please yep, i got it all right uh now when we drop this in here this mechanism right here should just line up with this thing here so that shouldn't be an issue because of the way it's designed so I'm going to put three drops of glue like we normally do here because we don't need to put so much glue on these things. And don't worry, Allie, I will do the twirl. There we go. Mm -hmm. Happy? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so uh, put the cover on. Cover's back on, everything looks intact. We're gonna let that cover cool and we're gonna put it up on the stand and take a look at it. Wow. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. All right, she's done. Uh, she looks good. I think, man, this is sweet. Uh, 1953 Corvette. Uh, you know, I love old uh, muscle cars. And uh, I really like the way this turned out. Uh, the water's nice and clean now. There's no air bubble. Uh, we changed the uh, glitter, got the dark blue and silver glitter in there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. It, uh, it, the tune, I'm gonna go ahead and play the tune as well. The tune is 409, which is a song by the Beach Boys. So uh, let me wind this up and then we'll shake it up so you can see I think the finished good. product. Look she at looks that. good. It's like the way the uh, car spins on that pedestal and then the, the, the glitter falls, that almost looks like one of those like uh, uh, unveiling of a, like yes, a new of yeah, a new car, yeah, you know, when yeah, they when like a, a, you know, all the con all the confetti drops yeah. out of the ceiling, yeah. So uh, yeah, this is a uh, I like this one. This is uh, this is actually cool. this is uh, out of the entire collection. This is one of two globes that actually belong to me. Everything else is Allie's. So <laughs> so this Corvette is mine. Uh, I just uh, fixed it. Thank you very much and saved it from the trash. Thank you. And uh, I'm gonna display this Corvette proudly. Thank you very much. So. <laughs> 
Uh, everybody, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank and, you uh, so much for your time. And hey, if you're a Corvette or a uh, you know muscle car enthusiast, uh, you know yeah. let us know. I, uh, I've, I've, I'm still looking for some other muscle cars in snow globes. I don't know if there are any out there, but uh, you know, let me know. So uh, please uh, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And uh, there's some links at the end of the video. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Bye.